Hello. Hi. My name is Sujan. I'll be your nurse practitioner today. Um, can you tell me your name? My name is Ushan. Ushan. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. So I am going to um, be checking your stomach area today. Is that okay? Yes. Um, also, before we do, I want to let you know we're recording this at the camera um, and I'm going to be submitting this to the university for my professors to look at it and grade me. Is that okay with you? Okay. All right. Um, although he is a minor, um, his dad is helping uh, me record this and although he's not in the camera, I'm going to ask him a verbal consent if that is okay. To record and examine on Usan today. Is that okay? Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, Usan. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, examine your stomach area today. Okay. Okay. All right. In that. So now for that, I would like for you to lie back down gently. Be comfortable. All right. Okay. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to pull your shirt up where I can see your belly. Pull a little bit higher up. There you go. All right. Um, also slightly pull your pants a little bit down so I can look at the whole abdomen, okay? All right. And your shirt, pull a little bit up. It's sliding back down. Alright, alright, thank you. So, uh, first I am going to inspect his abdomen. Um, in inspecting, I'm looking for the shape, I'm looking for the contour, I'm looking for symmetry, I'm looking for uh, um, the color, um, if he has jaundice or not. So, um, <clears throat> his abdomen looks flat. It's symmetrical. Um, um, <clears throat> his color is appropriate for his ethnicity. Um, I don't see any scars, um, any scratches, any sore, any rashes. Um, so, um, inspection um, wise, um, there are no abnormal findings. So, after inspection, I am going to. Um, listen to his abdomen i'm going to listen to the abdomen okay okay i'm going to be using this stethoscope it might be a little poor but i'm going to warm it up generally i would be on the right side of the patient i'm on the left side because of the uh, space here um, um, uh, of limited space so um <clears throat> Now I'm going to auscultate his um, abdomen. I'm going to start with right lower quadrant. I'm listening for rumbling sound. Right upper quadrant. left upper quadrant and left lower quadrant. I'm going to be listening for bowel sign, sounds like rumbling sounds which I can hear it's not very high or it's not very low it's more of normal active sounds and I can hear them in all four quadrants. I can um, if I didn't hear them I should have listened for bowel sounds for three to five minutes. Um, I am um, also going to um, listen um, to the aorta. Um, so I'm going to use the bell of my stethoscope. I am listening to this aorta. I'm listening for um, any murmur or any brutes. 
Now I'm going to listen to his right renal artery. Left renal artery. Right iliac artery. Left iliac artery. Right femoral artery. And then the left femoral artery. I do not hear any brutes. I'm also going to use the diaphragm to listen to the aortic artery, aorta, and then the renal, right renal artery, the left renal artery, right iliac artery, left iliac artery, right femoral artery, and then the left femoral artery. While also thing, I'm also going to use the bell to listen for any friction rub. At the liver, I don't hear anything. No. Same thing, I'm going to listen for friction rub at the spleen on the left upper quadrant. I do not hear anything. Now um, <clears throat> that I have auscultated, I do not find any abnormal findings. Um, now I am going to palpate, which means I'm going to be feeling in the abdomen area. Okay. First, um, I'm going to go lightly, and then after that, I'm going to go a little deep. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit more pressure. All right. At any point, if you're uncomfortable. If it hurts, let me know. Okay? Let me hear you say okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so um, <clears throat> now palpation. I'm going to palpate. I'm going to do light palpation throughout the... Well, I'm sorry. First, I'm going to do... Um, before palpation, I'm going to percuss. Uh, I'm going to percuss in all the, um, all the quadrants. Uh, I'm also going to progress the liver and the spleen. Um, is that okay with you? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> to progress, I am going to start with the right lower quadrant. So, I'm going to use my non dominant hand, and I'm going to use my right dominant hand to tap twice and I'm listening for timpani or dullness sound so throughout the abdomen in all four quadrants I hear timpani sound I'm also going to um, listen at the bladder and I hear his timpani. If the bladder was full, um, I would hear a dull sound. But in this case, I hear timpani. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to percuss for liver. I am listening, I am listening from timpani sound to dull sound. At this point, I start at the at one centimeter below the coastal margin. I hear dull sound. And I am percussing between the ribs to hear for a dull sound. So I hear dull sound up to fifth coastal margin, 
so the liver is probably between the fifth costal margin and the and the last costal margin here um, same way I am going to um, Percus for the spleen, which is <clears throat> on the left side um, at the mid uh, anterior mid axillary line, and I am going to percuss to here for dullness. If I heard if there was a dullness sound at the coastal margin or below the coastal margin. I would suspect uh, enlarged the spleen. In this case, I do not hear that dullness. It's rather tympanic. Um, after uh, percussion, I'm going to palpate, like I said earlier. I'm gonna start with the light palpation and then go a little bit harder and be a little deep palpation, okay? All right. Um, so I'm gonna start <coughs> at the um, right lower quadrant. I'm feeling for any masses, any tenderness, any rebound, any guarding. And I'm gonna go clockwise throughout. I do not feel any masses. There's no tenderness. No ascites, no guarding. Um, now I'm going for deep palpation. I'm gonna start from the right lower quadrant, which is about three to five centimeters deep. So I'm also palpating for liver while I'm doing that, and I can feel the border of the liver right at the coastal margin. Lean on the left upper quadrant is not palpable, which is a normal finding. I am also going to palpate for the kidneys. No, you just relax and you can breathe normal. I do not feel kidneys, I can't palpate kidneys. I cannot palpate kidneys on this side either. Um, now, um, I am going to um, also use um, inhalation technique to palpate for liver and spleen. So I'm gonna press here. I'm gonna have you breathe deep. Breathe deep. Take a deep breath. All right, and breathe out, okay. Um, I could feel the margin of the, bo the border of the liver when he inhaled. Same thing, deep breath, okay, all right. I cannot feel the spleen at the coastal margin on this side. All right, that concludes our um, abdominal uh, palpation. After that, we are going to check for any um, abnormal findings. Uh, let's say um, ascites. Ascites is something a uh, fluid is built up in your in your stomach. Okay, by the look of it, I don't see um, any fluid build up here. So uh, we will check uh, we'll check for the sifting dullness okay so um let's imagine there you you had ascites here so this area at the top would be a little bit rounded and protruded so in this case what i would do is i would percuss at this area and i would hear the timpani at this area while at the sides, the fluid buildup would sound 
dullness. Now I would have my patient turn to that side. All right. Now with gravity, the fluid would all go towards the side. The patient is turned. And I would hear timpani now on the sides and then dullness where the fluid is accumulated, which is called sifting dullness test. And this is a test for ascites. Now, <clears throat> for cholecystitis, we would do a Murphy's test. A Murphy's test would be where we put pressure at the coastal line and have patient breathe deep and breathe out. When, um, if the patient had any pain when doing this, that would be a positive Murphy's sign, uh, which would indicate cholecystitis or any problems in the gallbladder. Now we're gonna check for, uh, we're gonna check for appendicitis. Uh, there are several tests to check for, check for appendicitis. One of the tests is um, Robson's sign. Robson's sign, all the appendicitis, appendicitis on the right lower quadrant. With the Robson's signs, when I put pressure on the left side, and if the pain, if patient felt pain on the right side, that would be a positive Robson's sign, which would indicate uh, appendicitis. Also, a McBurney's point, which is two thirds from the umbilicus point um, to the um, um, iliac crest over here. Um, so I would put pressure over here if the patient was tender um, or guarding, that would also indicate um, appendicitis. Now for the last test, um, we will check for the uh, CVA tenderness, costal particle angle tenderness. In this test, I would like uh, Usain to get up. All right. What I would like you to do is face, face your back towards the camera. Can you do that? All right. That's good. Now I would like for you to pull your shirt up. A little bit higher. There you go. And hold it right there. All right. So for the severe tenderness, I would put my non-dominant hand and check for any tenderness. Um, but the patient doesn't have any tenderness, so I don't see an abnormal finding. So that basically concludes our um, abdominal exams. Um, do you have any questions for me, Usan? No. Can you look at the camera? Do you have any questions for me? No. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, um, Mr. Suarez, for recording this. Thank you, Usan, for being my patient. Um, and that concludes our exam today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.